Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write an alternative time delay subroutine to blink an LED using the Edmega 328 assembly language. Introduction. Now, in my previous video, I've used this program or code to blink an LED. And this is the time delay routine that I use. Now, in this video, I'm going to rewrite this time delay subroutine. But before we do that, let's take a brief look again at this uh, time delay routine. So here is the uh, flow chart for the uh, time delay subroutine. And here's the code that implements the, implements the uh, time delay subroutine. So this is the uh, inner loop counter. And this is the code that implements the inner loop counter. And this is the outer loop uh, counter and this is the code that implements the outer loop counter and finally we have the outermost loop counter and this part here as uh, that is highlighted in green that is the code to implement the outer loop outermost loop counter okay uh, so let's take a look a, at the revised blinking LED program. So this is the re revised uh, program that I'll be using for this video. It is pretty much the same as the, pr as the program that I've used in my previous video, except for a few minor changes, which I'll point out to you in a, uh, in a few moments, and the new uh, subroutine, delay subroutine. Um, I have removed the comments uh, from the uh, code so that it's easy to read the code and so that I can fit them into one slide. So, um, these are the directives uh, which are highlighted here. So, dot include dot csac and dot org i've covered these directives in my previous videos so i'll focus on the dot uh, def directive which are these three code here now i have extracted the uh, def directives here for discussion purposes now the dot def is an assembler directive DEF stands for defined. Now it can be used uh, to give registers uh, meaningful names. So in our examples or in our case, our register R18, for example, is given a name outer loop counter and register R24 is given the name inter in sorry inner counter low and register r25 is given inner counter high now these names are entirely at your discretion it's up to you what names uh, you want to give to these uh, registers uh, but my advice is give them meaningful names now I've highlighted here the main program. Uh, the first two lines in the uh, main program is LDI R17, 0XFF, and then out DDRB, R17. Basically, these two lines, uh, they will set uh, port B to output mode. I've covered this in my previous video. Now, SBI port b comma zero that will set uh, port b bit zero to a high and then uh, cbi port b comma zero that would set uh, port b bit zero to a logic zero and then we have these two call delays here 
that will invoke or call the subroutine uh, delay. And then our jump here basically that will branch back to this point here. So this is the main program. And here finally we've come to the uh, new time uh, delay subroutine that I mentioned earlier. Right, let's now take a closer look at the new delay subroutine. And I have extracted the uh, uh, time delay subroutine here uh, for discussion purposes. I have also highlighted the bits that are new and uh, they are the low and high here and the SBIW instruction. So let's take a look at these two lines of code, which, uh, which I highlighted here. And I'm repeating, I repeated those two lines of code here, highlighting the new bits. Now, the purpose of a uh, low and high uh, functions, they are there to allow us to work with numbers greater than 255 decimal and that would be uh, FF in hexa. So if you want to work uh, with numbers greater than this, then what we need to do is to use two, register, two registers together, a pair of registers so that it will give us a range from uh, values or numbers uh, ranging from zero decimal. Uh, in hexa, that would be zero, 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 because these are 16 bits uh, number, all the way up to 65,535 decimal. In hexa, that would be F, 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 F. Now, the inner counter low and the inner counter high has been def was defined in the earlier part of the program. So the inner counter low is being assigned with the register R24, and the inner counter high is being assigned with register R25. And using this information, I can rewrite these two lines of code replacing the inner counter low and inner counter high with these two registers, like so. All right, so, uh, so what happens here is that uh, the, this 16-bit number here, uh, which is uh, written in uh, hexa, the low byte, which is highlighted in green, will be assigned to R, register R24. And the high byte, which is highlighted in yellow, that would be assigned to register R25. Now, this assignment of um, high, low, and high bytes is being done by the assembler, not the microcontroller. Now, let's take a look at the SBIW instruction. Now, SBIW stands for subtract immediate from word. And the format uh, is uh, shown here. So it's SBIW RD colon RD plus one comma K. Now, let's look, take a look at this uh, D, which is highlighted in red. Now, D is an element of from this set of numbers all right it has to be this set of numbers that is uh, 24 26 28 and 30 nothing else different only these numbers so d is an element from these from this set of numbers so for example if you choose to use r24 so the first one would be r24 then the next one after the colon would be uh, R24 plus 1, that will be R25. So R24 colon R25 goes together. That would be the register pair. These are the two registers that you'll be using. 
Then if you choose to use 26, R26, for example, then the next one after the colon will be R26 plus one, that will be R27. So R26 colon R27, that would be another pair. And if you choose 28 uh, for this, R28, and then after the colon, R28 plus one, that would be R29. So R28 colon R29 goes together, that would be another pair. And if you choose 30, that would be R30 uh, colon R30 plus one, that would be R31. So that would be another pair. So coming back to our example, uh, SBIW inner counter low comma one. Now inner counter low was assigned R24. Now this was uh, done in the early part of the program. Uh, so what I've done here, I've extracted that part of the program to remind ourselves. Uh, if you remember, we have a dot DEF inner counter low and give, giving it uh, uh, the register R24. So if we go back to this instruction here, what this instruction means is that uh, it will subtract one from inner counter low, which is R20, register R24. Okay, now that we have uh, looked at the details of the uh, delay subroutine, let's take a look at the delay subroutine subroutine together with the flowchart. So we have the code on this side and we have the flowchart on this side. Now these two lines of code uh, is represented by these two blocks here. All right, and then we have this block here highlighted in blue and the code for these two uh, blocks here is been implemented here which is basically the SBIW inner counter low comma one and then the BRNE inner loop which is what this point here so it checks for zero if it's not zero we keep going back to SBIW keep taking one from the inner counter low. And then finally, this would be the outer loop counter. And this is the check of the outer loop counter, which is implemented in the uh, add mega 328 code, which is highlighted here. Now, okay, so let's take a look again at the entire program. So I repeated the entire program here. So this part here, basically that is the uh, directive or directives. And then this part here uh, is the main program. And this first two lines basically will set up the uh, port B for output mode and then SBI, uh, will set port B bit zero to one, call the delay, and then CBI will clear port B bit zero, call the delay, and then do an R jump back to the main, so it will keep doing this. And then finally, we have the uh, delay subroutine, which we have been through uh, in details uh, earlier. So let's take a look at the code demonstration now. Okay, so before we look at the uh, code demonstration, let's take a quick look at the hardware that is used uh, in this video. Now the hardware is the same as the one used in my previous uh, videos. Uh, so basically, <coughs> so here is the circuit diagram or schematic. So uh, Basically, it's a 220 ohm resistor in series with an LED, and one the one end of the resistor is connected to pin eight of the Arduino Uno. Uh, that is basically port B bit zero on the 8 mega 328 uh, microcontroller. 
and the other end of the um, LED uh, would be taken to ground and here on this side would be the um, wiring diagram uh, of this schematic um, so you have a 220 ohm resistor in series with a LED uh, cathode of the LED is connected to ground on the Arduino and the resistor is connected to pin 8 of uh, the Arduino Uno. Now, so here's the, a picture of the actual setup. So that's basically the hardware. The demonstration. Okay, so now we are in the uh, Atmel Studio 7. And I've uploaded the uh, the, the code here, uh, so you can see this is the same code that we have been uh, discussing earlier. So I don't think there's uh, the, there's a need to go through the code. Um, it's just that uh, I'd like to point out. So there are I've added in the, put in the comments here in the uh, demonstration code. So because this is my usual practice, I highly recommend you do that uh, in all your code. So, uh, let's, so let's now proceed to, uh, let's see, go to build and build solution. And we have uh, no errors. So that is uh, successful. Let's go down to, uh, wait a minute, let me just uh, adjust this so that I can bring on the uh, my video cam. Just give me a minute. Yes, uh, right. So, so here is my Arduino Uno with the LED connected to port B, bit zero. <clears throat> Beg your pardon. So go to tools and program the uh, Arduino and you see the red LED now is uh, flashing uh, as a proof, as evidence that the uh, uh, code is working. All right, so uh, so much for the demonstration. Hey, so that's it for this video. I hope you find the video useful. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.